How can God hear the prayer of every individual person at the same time? How can Jesus live and dwell in the hearts of all of these people at once? How can the Holy Spirit guide and direct the lives of so many at once? Let me give you a, an example of how I believe that's possible. In his earthly body, Jesus was limited to being in one place at one moment of our time. Time for us is like a ray, a mathematical line that starts at one point and continues in one direction. And you can only exist in one place at one moment of our time. But I believe God lives and dwells in a dimension above and beyond time. In the spirit world, there is no time. And this means that God can do infinite things at any one moment of our time. Let me give you an example of how I believe that's possible. In our world, time is like this ray and we're born at this moment and we have an event in our life at this moment. But if time were three dimensional, if we could get out of this linear one dimensional time, which God existed, then at this moment right here, at this moment on the cross, if time is three-dimensional, then God could die on the cross for Jim Bauer. God could die on the cross for you, and he could go to hell for each and every person that has ever lived. Time is infinite for God, and he can do multiple things at any one moment of our time. And this is important for us because God can have his son die and pay the penalty for your sin and for my sin. If Jesus could do all of these things at one time, then he could experience death and hell for every man. Then the travail of his soul in hell could satisfy the penalty for sin in our life. And the spirit of God then could raise Christ from the dead and at that same moment when Jesus is resurrected from the dead, we are in Christ. And at that moment of the resurrection, Paul said, we are raised together with Christ. And resurrection then becomes a reality in our lives as well. Paul said for us to know him and to be in a place of unity with him means that we can experience that same power of the resurrection. And that Jesus can come and live in my heart and he can live in your heart, and he can live and be a part of each person's life who chooses to enter into that relationship with him. This concept of God being outside of our one-dimensional time, Jesus existing then in a three-dimensional time makes it possible for each one of us to experience an intimate relationship with Jesus Christ at the same time. He can live in my heart and be real and alive and personally my savior. And he can be your savior and he can live in your heart all at the same moment of our time because he lives in a realm above and beyond time and can do an infinite number of things at once. Paul said, if we have been united with him in the likeness of his death, then we are also united with him in the likeness of his resurrection. And that's why it's possible for us to all pray and talk to God at the same time, for Christ to live in our hearts at the same time, and for the Holy Spirit to be real in guiding each one of us in our lives, because they exist in a realm above and beyond time and can do a multitude of things at any one moment of our time. God is real, and he has a desire to live and to dwell in you. This is why Resurrection Sunday is so important. We were buried with him. We were raised together with him. And we now can have abundant life with him. And we will live with him forever. This is God's plan for each one of us to experience the reality of that divine presence in our lives and then to live and dwell with him for eternity. And 
God's plan for the future is for us to share in his likeness and for us to exist in that realm as well in our new glorified bodies. I pray that each one of you will receive Jesus Christ as your Savior and experience and know this abundant life that he offers to us through his Son.